Hey, it's Eli K. Atlas, and today I'm going to be doing a little walkthrough of some coloring of a cover I did for a recent commission, a series which you guys should be familiar with by now, called Death Grip. This is to be one of the variant covers. Basically, started this the way I usually do with the character, Ray, her skin. The skin was important this time because there was supposed to be a gradient effect, a fade from purple to pink and blue. This was an effect I did on the interior pages. It's just to give the scene an otherworldly kind of vibe, and it also makes it more interesting visually than just regular beige or whatever color. Also, it helped to establish a sense of environment here, since this cover is an underwater scene, hence the floating orbs, which end up being bubbles. I also add reflections from the sun shining through the water onto his skin. It wasn't hard to decide where the blue stopped and where the purple started since the character design is sort of split in half thanks to her particular outfit. This was some of my favorite inking I've ever done actually, especially for a cover. The hair turned out what, super lush, one of my better illustrations I think. Technically the piece is monochrome, so it's all about the values separating the foreground elements from the background elements and so forth. The background itself was super simple to color. For the bubbles, I basically laid a base color, did the shadow color on the underside, then put the light on the opposite side. That gave the bubbles a nice wet look. The hardest part was the flame. The concept for the cover was a bit abstract, which was another reason for the color scheme. It's a statue of a Hindu god in a fire, which is supposed to foreshadow a future event. So I had some of the fire poke out from her heart just to make it feel less contained. A lot of tinkering later I ended up with something I was mostly satisfied with. Putting the finishing touches on the background was actually just adding a texture to the water to make it look a little more alive and less like a simple gradient. Always play with your layer settings, you'll find some pretty cool stuff there. Now to put some light on the fire and on Ray herself, and we're basically set. That about wraps it up. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you found this video entertaining and hopefully helpful as well. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and I've got prints of my art. Not this particular cover, but plenty of other stuff that you can see in my galleries online. If you follow me on social media, you'll probably familiar with my art. And if you're not, go check me out there on redbubble.com slash artbyatlas. And definitely leave me comments on what other kinds of videos you guys would like to see. 
I'm always taking requests and suggestions, and I usually get back to all of them. Thank you for watching.